In this video, we compare four of the most common types of fins and what they are good for, starting right now. Number one, freediving fins. These types of fins have an extra long blade for fast propulsion through the water. They typically have a full foot pocket, which allows you to use these without neoprene booties, which will help keep the drag low through the water. These are fast, efficient, and great for getting down deep as fast as possible. They are great for freediving. They're not so good for snorkeling because when you're using these on the surface, if the blade comes out of the water, that's just wasted energy. And they're not the best for scuba diving either because they're so long. So if you go into a wreck or a cave or if you have other scuba divers nearby, you'll tend to hit things and they're not very maneuverable. Number two, short blade snorkeling fins. These fins are small, lightweight, and portable. Great for traveling with or storing on the boat. These blades are very short, but they are great for using on the surface, and they're great for new swimmers and beginners in the water. They have the least propulsion of all the fins, but they are very comfortable and they're very easy on the legs to use. These would be ideal for shallow snorkels or snorkels where there is very little or no current. They can be used by putting your foot directly into the pocket, or they can be used with neoprene booties, which is awesome because if you have to walk across a rocky surface or a rough surface, you can wear your booties and then slip your snorkel fin on right before you get in the water. Also, these fins are so short that you can walk right in the fins almost as if they were a long shoe. These fins are great for portability, great for beginners, and they're surprisingly comfortable. Number three, scuba diving fins. These fins have a medium length blade that is usually made from a stiffer material. This allows for strong propulsion for scuba divers, but still allows for maneuverability in tight spaces. This type of fin also allows for different types of kicks, like frog kicks and helicopter kicks, which scuba divers use while cave diving and wreck diving. These type of fins usually have an open heel foot pocket, which allows the diver to wear booties for use in cold water, also climbing up boarding ladders on boats, and walking across rough surfaces. This type of fin is great for scuba divers who need strong propulsion and maneuverability. These fins are not great for snorkeling, however, because when they're used on the surface, they can come out of the water and they're very heavy, so that lifting them up in the air is just wasted energy. They're not great for swimming on the surface. Also, they're not great for free diving either because they're so heavy and they typically need to be worn with that full foot booty, which will add more drag in the water. Number four, full blade snorkeling fins. These are a great all-purpose fin. They are lightweight, flexible, and can be used in a variety of situations. They're great for snorkeling on the surface, but they can also be used for shallow dives down below the water. And I have used these on several scuba dives and they've worked just fine. These typically have a full foot pocket, so they don't need to be used with booties. And that'll help lighten your load and your gear requirements when you're traveling. These are a great all-purpose fin, great for beginners, and I recommend anyone who's getting started with snorkeling to get comfortable with this type of fin. This is my favorite type of fin because it's kind of a do-all and I can keep it with me and I can use it anywhere, anytime. Let me know in the comments below, what is your fin of choice? What type and brand do you like and why? Thanks again for taking a look at these fins with me. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like and please consider subscribing to the channel for more great underwater content. Thanks again, now get out in the ocean and explore.